Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. In this video, we'll show you how to define values for cost of goods sold and auto pricing minimum price attributes. There are a few different ways to assign values for cost of goods sold COGS, and auto pricing minimum price attributes. We will walk you through all of them one by one. Before we begin with the steps, there are a few important notes to be considered. Please provide value for COGS attribute for at least 90 to 95% of the products. If you wish to exclude or opt out individual products from automated discounts, you do not need to submit a value for the auto pricing minimum price attribute. Similarly, if you've already opted in and wish to opt out now, just erase the auto pricing minimum price attribute value. Let's get into the methods of assigning the cost of goods sold. Method 1. Assign value for cost of goods sold in Shopify. Please keep in mind that the values defined here will not be visible to your store visitors. We may achieve this simply by entering a value in the cost per item field. We can also use Shopify's product CSV export import feature to assign values for COGS in bulk for multiple products. First, you will need to select the products you wish to export into a CSV file. Click on the export option available near the top right corner. That will show you a prompt to choose suitable export options. Here we will choose selected. One product option for quicker CSV download to our local drive. After opening the CSV file with any spreadsheet editor, we will need to navigate to the cost per item column by scrolling right. Please add the estimated value for the cost of goods sold and save the file. Navigate back to the Shopify admin page and use the import option available just beside the export option. Please choose the saved CSV file, check the box for the overwrite any current products option, and click on the upload and continue button. From the preview your first product prompt, click import products to confirm your import action. Depending on the number of products you are importing, it may take some time to reflect changes in your Shopify store. This field can be used to define values at the variant level. So, after you've defined the cost per item field in your Shopify store and enabled the app's automated discounts feature, the app will begin fetching the value for cost of goods sold from your Shopify store at regular intervals of two hours to automatically submit it to your Google Merchant Center. Since there is no native field available for defining the value for the auto pricing minimum price attribute on Shopify, we will need to define it at the feed level using our app. If you are unable to define the values for cost of goods sold in your Shopify store, you can define it within our app using the automated rules for feed feature or with the help of the app's export import of product CSV file feature. Method 2 using the automated rules for feed feature. This method is useful if you sell similar products and your cost of goods sold remains within a particular range. For example, a fixed trade or a percentage of the product's retail price. From the app interface, hover over the settings menu. Click on the automated rules for feed. Next, we need to click on the add new rule button. This will open a menu to choose any attribute for which we would like to define an automated rule. So we will select the cost of goods sold COGS, option here. A new dialog box will appear in which we must first select a condition or group of conditions that must be met before the app can assign a value for cost of goods sold to any particular product. There are a variety of criteria to choose from to define the rule. For our use case, we will use the price option based on which we can calculate and define the value for COGS. Please note that price will be fetched from the price field available on the Shopify product details page and not from the compare at price field. Then we need to choose is less than or equals to as an operator for the condition. For now, we are using 50 US dollar as the price. If the product price is less than or equal to 50 US dollar, the cost of goods sold will be 55% of the price. So we'll just need to select percentage from the set type option and input 55 in the value field. To save the rule, we will need to click on the OK button. 
In order to add more conditions, we will need to follow the same steps after clicking on Add Rule button. To demonstrate, we will add the condition such that if the price is greater than 50 US dollar, the cost of goods sold must be 60% of the variance retail price. When you click the OK button, it will now summarize the defined rules using two separate rule groups. You can update any rule by clicking on the specific rule group tab. You can also delete the rule by clicking on the bin icon, or you can modify the rule's priority by using the up or down arrows, which will be visible upon hovering over any rule group tab. For now, we will click on Save as Draft button. Similarly, let's proceed to create an automated rule to automatically assign the value for the auto pricing minimum price attribute. This time, we will need to choose the auto pricing minimum price option from the create a new rule menu. Before we proceed any further, let us give you a brief overview of this attribute. Auto pricing minimum price attribute defines the lowest price you are willing to accept for a specific product. In other words, Google uses this attribute to set the minimum price at which a product's price can be reduced using the automated discounts or pricing rules feature. So all you have to do here is enter the maximum percentage or absolute amount for the discount that you would like to offer for qualifying products or variants. For this use case as well, we are going to use the price of the variants as the criterion to define the rule. Moving forward, we shall select is less than or equals to as an operator for the condition. For now, we are using 50 US dollar as the price, thus if the product price is less than or equal to 50 US dollar, the maximum percentage discount we could offer would be 10%. To save the rule, simply select percentage from the set type options, enter 10 in the value column, and click the OK button. Based on this rule group, our app will filter out all the qualifying variants and will reduce the product price by 10% and subsequently submit the remaining amount as the auto pricing minimum price attributes value. For demo purposes, we are adding another condition using the add rule option, such that if the price is greater than $50, the maximum discount that can be offered is $15. This time we are using absolute price as an operator for the condition, so that it can deduct $15 from all the variants which are priced at $50 or more, and submit the remaining amount as the value for auto pricing minimum price. We are now all set to save these rules as draft. You will see the rule specifics on the screen for the final review and confirmation, where you will have the choice to apply, modify or discard the drafts. Please click the Apply Rules button to automatically assign the values for the cost of goods sold and auto pricing minimum price attributes to previously synced products or any upcoming products. As soon as a rule is applied, the app will reprocess all of the products, and the product status will be pending. It may take 30 minutes to process them and resubmit the data feed with the cost of goods sold and auto pricing minimum price attributes. So that's it. Method 3. Using the app's product CSV export import feature. To begin with, please navigate to the Manage Products page of the app. Please select a group of products or all the products using the checkbox. That will activate an option to do edits in bulk. Please click the button to see the Bulk Actions option. Scroll down and reach to Export CSV for COGS and Auto Pricing Min Price option and click it. That will open up a pop-up to confirm the action with a few important notes. Click on the Export CSV for COGS and Auto Pricing Min Price button to export raw CSV file with basic data. Please open the exported CSV file using any spreadsheet editor like Microsoft Excel. For your easy reference and convenience, we have already included the basic details for products in the exported CSV file like product ID, offer ID, title, SKU, sale price, regular price, COGS and auto pricing minimum price attributes, which are fetched from your Shopify store or which you have already assigned within the app. So you just need to input values for COGS and auto pricing minimum price attributes in the respective column against each product variant. Once changes are done, please save the file in the CSV format on your local drive. Please navigate back to the Manage Products page. 
click on the Import Products button located near the top right side of the app interface. That will present you with a dialog box to choose Product Customization Type for CSV Import option. Choose the Import CSV for Cost of Goods Sold and Auto Pricing Min Price. Next, you will be asked to choose a CSV file, where you will need to choose the CSV file which you have saved on your local drive. You can also add an email address under the notification email field for receiving a report after the CSV import is completed. Once you are ready to import, click Import button, which will present you with the final confirmation pop-up for import. So you can proceed ahead by clicking on Yes button. It will display the success message with the number of products affected by this CSV import. So, within 30 minutes, the app will reprocess these products and will submit fresh product data with customized values for COGS and auto pricing minimum price attributes. You will also be able to see the values for these two attributes within the product details page under the variance section, as shown here. Important points to bear in mind. Please be aware that when you assign these values within the Shopify store and the app, using any of the methods, a priority level is defined for each, determining which value will eventually be eligible to be submitted to your Google Merchant Center. The values that the app will retrieve from the Shopify store are given first priority. Applicable solely for COGS attribute because there is no native way to define auto pricing minimum price attribute in the Shopify store admin. Secondly, values that are defined using the automated rules for feed feature of the app. Lastly, values that are customized using the product CSV export import feature of the app. So, if the app has already fetched the value for COGS from your Shopify store, it will always be submitted to your Google Merchant Center, even if you have set up an automated feed rule or customized it using the product CSV export import feature of the app. We strongly recommend you to use any one method for defining values for cost of goods sold and auto pricing minimum price attributes. To delete any customized value for any of these two attributes, either alter the automated rule or re-import the product CSV with the blank values for the respective products. Hope this helps.